Okay, this is the uh, Exotech uh, Instruments uh, AC DC clamp meter. Okay, it comes with the uh, instructions inside and the uh, container here, the uh, belt loop holster here, Velcro. Okay, so it's a little meter here that measures AC or DC uh, amps, okay, measures AC or DC current in up to 200 amps and uh, measures uh, frequency, get up to 1 kilohertz. Okay, it's got some instructions and very simple operation and note that uh, it only measures current in amps it does not measure uh voltage dc or ac and this is a it's kind of different from the usual uh ac only clamp that only measures uh, ac current because this measures dc current okay it's a uh, model ma120 it's got no probes no wires um when you put it in there, AC, it starts flashing. Okay. Okay, when this AC current starts flashing. Okay, so static electricity is also AC. Uh, well, when you move back and forth, it's AC. So when you stick in there wires, it, it flashes. Uh, even when it's switched off, it still uh, flashes. It's kind of annoying because uh, then it's just wasting power because when I took it out of the box it, it was lighting up and I thought something was wrong but it was not, it just uh, you move it off it'll light up the LED will light up to show you that it's uh, detected uh, AC current AC voltage and current Okay, so um It also uh, sh uh, measures uh, frequency in hertz, uh, so you could test it with a you know, your, your AC wiring, which is 60 hertz in the United States and 50 hertz in Europe. Runs on two uh, AA batteries, AAA batteries, okay, the smaller one. Okay, runs on two AAA batteries. I've just got this uh, lamp here, which is kind of very really dim, it's kind of gimmicky. It's like, the button's a little flimsy, you can see it's just, it won't click back. When I click it, when I pressure it, it's it click once, when I let go, it doesn't really, doesn't really click back. It's kind of flimsy, but it works, still. And it, this rotary switch also feels kind of flimsy. It feels like it's kind of moving. It's kind of loose. Okay, and uh, the other thing is that when you turn it on to DC current, you gotta zero it every time. This every time, so switch it off, switch it on again, you gotta zero it again. Out again. So each time, and to hold, it's got a hold button, you can hold it two seconds, and it holds it. So you gotta keep zeroing it up. So let's let's see a meter here. Okay, it times out after a few minutes. So it's not gonna. Uh, okay. Okay, so let's try this out. Okay, you can see. The load is one amp, about at one amp, 1.03 amps. And so let's switch this on. 
and of course you got to calibrate it zero okay. so all you have to do is clip it onto one wire okay you see the LED starts flashing one wire so you got the positive and the negative you just pick one and clip it on there so it's one point zero to one point one it keeps changing okay. but it's it's one amp okay and don't forget the resolution is point one so it's a hundred mil it only goes on hundred milliamps so it's going from zero to one it makes sense perfect sense because it's one point zero three is it one amp and to forty milliamps It's pretty good and easy to use. And you see, it keeps flashing because uh, this has something in this circuit uh, uses uh, power that uh, gets it uh, vibrating. So, there you go. See, it's charging at three amps, and the meter is clamped onto the negative. So there's only one cable here, so it's easier to just clamp onto that. Three amps, no contact. This is. It started charging at uh, ten amps, and it went down to nine amps, and. Now it's like 3 amps.